All right, I got my mask on. Just dropped off from the shuttle. Classic beginner's arch. Here we go. Hey, so I don't know how well you can hear me. We got some running water happening. But um, I'm on the approach trail. So <laughs> I started walking and straight away, first thing that happens is it rains. So luckily there was like a pavilion place. I didn't get too far in. I was like, what, several hundred yards <laughs> into the hike. And then, uh, and then it just it started coming down. So anyway, I waited it out, met a nice woman, also under the pavilion with her two cutie, cutie dogs. Um, yeah, a good convo, waited out the storm, and now, uh, now I'm going again. So it's already two, and I gotta hike eight miles, uh, mostly up. So, let's see what happens. Oh boy, all right, so we got 604 steps. If you saw in the picture, there's 175 steps up to the nice view of the falls. But then we've got, I don't know if you can see, we've got stairs, and we got falls, and we got more stairs. So, that is um, 604, says the AWOL guide. So I'm taking my time, try to have a lighter weight pack, I mean, mine's 35, which I guess is kind of okay. I would like it to be 25, <laughs> but I don't, my bag is already, my pack is too heavy as it is. It's five pounds just for the back. So, I'm taking it easy, little step, little step. Here we go. I made it up, you guys. You hear the quiet? This is what I like. Nice and peaceful. That's about what I'm expecting on this trail. I don't know, I'm starting to AT at a very weird time with the coronavirus and July 1st. It's not really, it's not a common time to start doing it. Um, here, I'm just walking past. I don't know how well you can see that campsite really a nice fire ring good soft ground but I'm trying to make it to a place called if I remember right black gap shelter uh, yeah so give the shelter a go it's been raining here so uh, it'll be about uh, seven and a half miles see if I can get there in time uh, should be all right my knee was causing me some trouble already but I took a break and it seems to be feeling a little bit better. So, yeah, if it starts acting up, then I'll just stop at one of those campsites. That's about the fourth one I've seen just going along the, the approach trail here. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was our, I, I was talking about the, the um, quiet and the peace and the, I don't know, hiking by myself. I expected to feel pretty, pretty secluded just considering the timing. Oh, we got a down tree, people. But it's not as bad as it looks. We got a clear path. Got to find that Blue Blaze. Ah, I found it. I found my first water source. Just got to Stick my bag in there. Oh, got it. Fill it up as best I can. I'll probably do two rounds. 
So something I just thought of, but that water, that water source was very low. Um, and I don't think it would have existed if it hadn't rained yesterday and today in this area. So I just realized how lucky having that water there actually was. So I was just, yeah, feeling grateful. That's nice. And I was also thinking that I don't know what's going on, but I went really slow today. I think I'm going to hike probably about six miles. I was trying to get 7.3 in, get to that shelter. I really wanted to go to the shelter so I could uh, save a little bit of effort with the tent. And also, maybe I'd have some space in there. I could do some stretching and, and yoga and stuff. Um, the ground's going to be a little too muddy and too wet. I don't think I want to do it on the ground. Um, but yeah, so I think I'll be have I'll, I will have hiked once I finish about six miles in about five hours. That is horrendous. <laughs> I'm not sure. It didn't feel like I was going that slow, but um, but yeah, I'm not sure what happened. So hopefully I'll be able to pick that pick that pace up a little bit. 